Hey guys, what's up? This is Jason the Redhead Henry, and today I'm going to be going over the second phase, sort of, uh, in After Effects from where I left off from last time. So today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, properly get your stop motions uh, to work. Uh, I'm going to be going over how to put a watermark and messing with text inside of your uh, project files. And then I'm going to be showing you uh, the render settings that I use to export the Superhero Mugs episodes. Um, I'm going to be running through this fairly quickly. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I'm actually pretty busy these days because I'm going to be graduating college soon. But a uh, uh, quick story, I was at the Bears game today, and uh, i got to tell you, they, they did not look good today. Jay Cutler, I, I have faith in you, but my god, that game you threw today was, was just ridiculous. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to kind of just go off memory and uh, see if I can remember what it was I did last time. First thing you're going to want to do is go File, Import, Import File. So I'm going to import everything that I was working with last time. Okay, so it all just came in. Next you're going to want to do Composition, New Composition. And I'm going to call this, uh, I don't know, Video Test. You can call it whatever you want and I'm going to be choosing my default settings which is superhero mugs which is YouTube HD that's just what I what I titled this you can save uh, your own preset uh, but basically you want your width to be 1280 height 720 make sure it's locked uh, 16 by 9 you want square pixels frame rate 30 uh, you could change the frame rate down to 25 if you want and duration 30 seconds. Okay, so it uh, just made the uh, new composition. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag out, I believe I had this image. You hit S if you want to scale an image down or scale something down. And just drag it. Kind of like that. Go out, say, four seconds. And then you hit Shift Control D, and that cuts it up. You can also drag it down if you wanted to. I think the next image I had was this one. And scale this down. 42. Zoom in. Get that looking nice. OK. Next, I think I had my audio at the bottom. So I dragged that down. And again, this is just uh, going pretty quickly. So if you select these two layers, you can select uh, more than one layer by holding down Shift. And again, Shift Control D, and that gets everything all nice and even. Okay, and this is where we kind of left off from last time. Okay, so after this particular point um, is actually where some stop motion comes into play. So I have nine images of where it's just it's going to be kind of hard for you to tell, but if you look in this upper corner, you can see that uh, the Mighty Mug actually is getting hit by a toy truck in this particular shot. So what you're going to want to do, instead of just dragging these out and you know having to go in and cut them all up and resize them and everything, you're going to select all your images that you have for your particular shot uh, that's going to have stop motion in it and you're just going to drag it down into this new composition button right here. You're going to want to have it on single composition and you're going to want the still duration to be uh, say three frames. You want it to make sure that the sequence layers is checked and you don't want any overlap and then just click OK. So what that does is it takes all those pictures and it puts them in order so you can see he's getting hit by a truck and each each picture is only going to be three frames long so again what that did was it created a new composition and the new composition is right here it's called CRW5377 so it opens it up here in kind of the timeline so you can go back and forth okay so I'm gonna close this since we already have it right here I'm gonna bring the CRW which is what we just created and drag it down into the timeline or you can drag it onto your uh, stage up here your composition and just zoom in and make sure everything's all lined up nicely now 
Because I scaled this image down, this was the first image I used, I'm going to hit S to bring up the scaling option so it's at 42. So now if I go over to this layer, the CRW, this composition, and hit S, you want to want to scale this down to 42. Okay, that looks good. And this one, I believe I moved it down, so hit P to bring up the position. P to bring up the position on this one. And this is 360, 300, so move this to 300, which is what this layer is at. So now you can see that the truck is hitting them and everything looks nice and smooth. Uh, that is if you took, you know, the right pictures and everything came out smoothly there. Okay, so now, uh, if you were to RAM preview this, I'm just going to turn off the audio, you'll notice that that goes fairly quick, like he gets hit by a truck and then it's just going to go to, say, your next scene, your next shot. Uh, there is a way around that. So you want to kind of have sort of like a, a not a delay, but like a stalling almost, so it doesn't cut very quickly. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on your last frame here, zoom in and hit shift Control d oops, sorry, right click on this layer, and go to uh, time and hit time stretch. Um, or actually, I'm sorry, you don't want to do that. You right click and go time, freeze frame. So what that does is it freezes that frame. And now you can drag it out. I'm only going to drag it out uh, just a second. So now when you RAM preview this, it plays this out for a second so you kind of get that feeling like oh he just got hit Iron Man's watching him okay so now let's throw in a watermark what you're gonna wanna do is come up to the text tool up here and just type in I'm gonna type in red head Henry I'm gonna change the color of that you make sure your text is selected just double click and we'll just go with something kinda crazy like a bright pink And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go to this little icon right here and click, make sure the title and action safe is selected. And basically, it's just a guide. I'm going to get this positioned right on this line. It might be hard for you guys to see. So now it's in that little lower right-hand corner. I'm just going to turn this off. Now, if you want, you can hit S and you can scale this thing down so that it's not too big. You guys can do what you want. And if you hit T on this layer, that brings up the opacity. Uh, I guess T for transparency, but um, I'm going to bring this down to say whatever looks good. Just kind of eyeball it, but for me, I'm just going to go with 40. Close that. That. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, now comes the render settings, and I'll put this in the video description as well. What you're going to want to do once you're finished with your video, you'll notice here that this particular uh, composition that I worked on is only 10 seconds long. And obviously I have all this extra time out here that doesn't really, it's just, it's just useless time. So instead of actually going into the composition settings and having to change all that, we're just going to bring this little bar right here all the way in to where this video stops. okay so now this is basically your render bar so it's gonna render everything out that's in this inside of this bar okay so let's go ahead and render this thing out go up to composition and there are many ways to do this but for me I just like to click on add to render queue okay so what that does is it brings over this whole video test composition into the render queue tab right here so for superhero mugs, what I like to use, what you're going to want to do is click on this output module, click lossless, and for format, choose H.264. Now H.264, this video compression, it, it it's an okay compression, but for YouTube, it's absolutely perfect. It really gets your videos looking nice. The file size is low, and um, it looks really good for HD. Just go ahead and click that. Next, you're going to want to come down to format options and make sure your profile is on high level 
make sure CBR is checked for the bitrate settings and you're going to want to have uh, your bitrate at around 6.1. Um, anything really higher than that makes the file size kind of really, uh, really large. So I like to put mine around 6.1, 5.9, somewhere in that area. Uh, and then just click OK. Then make sure you click audio output because that's going to render out your audio as well. Usually the default settings for this is uh, what I like to use, but you could go into format options and change this all around if you wanted to. But we're just going to leave it as is. And then click OK once you've done all that. Uh, render settings, you could go into click here on best settings and you could go in here and uh, mess with the quality but we're not going to because it's already on best uh, so just say OK and then click on output to this little video test right here .mp4 click that and then you can just choose your file path on where you want it to render to so I'm just gonna leave it as wherever it's gonna go and then you're just gonna click render so it shows you a live preview actually and then you should hear a little chime sound and that means that it's done rendering okay guys that's all the time I have for today uh, I didn't get a chance to go over uh, motion blurring and color correction but we'll save that for the next tutorial so if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment um, and again just check the, the description of this video and I'll leave all the uh, render settings uh, in the description